Tonight is the big Mega Millions drawing the jackpot more than $540 million. But before you buy a bunch of tickets, we wanted Simply Money's Nathan Backrack to weigh in with his advice on what you should do if you win it. Because even though you may not win the major prize, a lot of people are winning million dollar prizes. And what is your advice this morning? Well, I hate, good. To, I hate to put a little reality in here, but your odds are about one in 259 million. We're not focusing on that. We're focusing Wait a on second. winning. Your odds of being struck by lightning twice in your lifetime are one in nine million. Nathan, I'm still talking about what we should be doing if we do win. All right. Positivity. The first thing you need to do is not tell anybody that you won because you're going to get a lot of friends who all of a sudden are going to see you like a human ATM machine. <laughs> They're just going to see you as, oh my goodness. Next thing you want to do is put together a team, just as you would in any successful business venture if you were to sell your business. Okay? And you're going to want to get a CPA. You want an attorney. You're going to want a financial advisor and I would suggest a certified financial planner and then you're going to want to sit down and relax and you know each one of us gets a little lottery at some point if we're fortunate five ten twenty fifty thousand dollars will come from an aunt an uncle our parents and we're going to have the same situation we have a lump sum of money what should we do with it and I promise you you'll blow through it because if you don't know what to do with money before you got a lump sum you're not going to want to know what to do with it when it's done and sadly we've seen that time uh, and time again William Post went through 16 million dollars all right excuse me Mr. Post uh, had finally got to the point where his brother-in-law or his brother had hired a hitman he's now on social security the guy that won all that money. Yeah, how about Jack Whitaker? $315 million. He was bouncing checks at a casino eventually in Las Vegas. It, and it happens. It happens because, as you mentioned, if yeah. you don't know how to deal with money, no. you're not going to deal with it well. Right. How about this? Instead of putting $10 a week, all right, $20, uh, $40 a month, try this. Take the $40 you're spending on lottery tickets every month. Okay. If you get 7.2% over the course of your lifetime, if you put that away, guess what? You've got $120,000. Get 9%, you'll have $200,000. All you got to do is put it away, keep your hands off it. This is your, a do-it-yourself lottery for you so that you can create some money for yourself and not have to worry about whether or not you happen to hit the big one.